This news update is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. This is a 6 p.m. Barbados Today update for Tuesday, December the 17th, 2013. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Former Prime Minister Owen Arthur is accusing the Front de Stuart administration of seeking to silence its critics in the midst of a serious crisis facing the country. Arthur says this is the primary reason why he has decided to break his silence on the impending layoff of over 3,000 public workers, which he insists must be done in a just way. Mr. Stewart yesterday said that his, his government is not going to get nurse nor coddle their critics. This comes against the backdrop of, if it was just an isolated statement, no problem. But it came come against the backdrop of a statement by the Minister of Education that the government was going to break the heads of its critics and unleash the army on them. It come against the backdrop of journalists in the country being led away um, to answer charges for writing stories. And on last week, again, we had another situation where there is the appearance that the government wants to deal with this matter by silencing their critics. Firefighters have given the all clear they have allowed residents of Lakes Folly and surrounding areas to return home after a major blaze at the Bridgetown sewage plant this afternoon was brought under control following more than three hours. Chief Fire Officer Wilfred Marshall says the blaze did not affect the chlorine tanks in the building. The widow of former Prime Minister David Thompson is urging government not to scrap the football tournament held in his honour. Mara Thompson says the David Thompson Memorial Constituency Council's football classic has been very successful and helps bring communities closer. She says while the budget has already been reduced, the competition should remain on the country's sporting calendar. We have had to make cuts recently, unfortunately, but when we look at, at the gains that, that we get from this, this competition and the, the, the wide... Um, well, the number of people who benefit from it. I, I really do believe that we need to continue with the competition. Earlier today, former Prime Minister Owen Arthur said government can reduce costs by cutting the tournament staged over the past three years. In sports, West Indies manager Richard Richardson wants the regional side to win the third test against New Zealand for suspended leading spin bowler Shane Shillingford and Caribbean supporters around the world. The test starts tomorrow evening at Seddon Park in Hamilton with New Zealand leading 1-0. The International Cricket Council announced yesterday that Shillingford had been suspended from bowling in international matches after an independent analysis found his bowling action illegal. Shillingford has been West Indies' most successful bowler this year with 36 wickets at 24.72 runs apiece. There's regional and international news after this short break. McInerney Quality and Consolidated Finance invite you to trade in your old car for a new one. So, bring your car and come to McInerney Quality in Wildey. That's right, all trade-ins are welcomed. Any make or model, we'll trade towards your new car. Plus, you get two years free insurance when you purchase a Kia, Mazda or Ford. And with on-the-spot financing by Consolidated Finance, you can drive away with something new. So, bring your car and come to McInerney Quality in Wildey. All trade-ins are welcomed. In the region, Antigua and Barbuda is in the midst of a cooking gas shortage, and the supplier says the problem stems from Trinidad and Tobago. The company says a shipment will not arrive on the island before Saturday. Internationally now, South Sudan has locked up 10 senior political figures after an attempted coup. Those arrested include the former finance minister. The authorities say they are also looking to question five other prominent figures, including a former vice president. 
And that's our 6 p.m. update. Join us again at 7 a.m. tomorrow. In the meantime, log on to www.barbadastoday.bb, subscribe to our e-paper, and like us on Facebook to get more news and sports. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. This news update brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Catch the sun power.